Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Crystal and I am coming with, to you today with my February wrap up. I read a total of one, two, three, four, five, six books this month and uh, that includes audiobooks and ebooks. So let's just jump right into it. The first book I read was called The Code of the Hills by Nancy Allen, Nancy Allen, and this was a murder mystery that was very well written. I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars, um, and it's in a, it's set within a series, um, but you, you don't have to read each one to follow it. Um, so I gave that one four stars. The next book I read was Night Film by Marisha Pethel. I read that book based on the hype that I've seen on BookTube. And I'm not sure quite how I feel about it. I gave it four stars. But I'm not quite sure if it met up to the hype that I found heard nothing but good things about it and I've heard a lot of people say oh it's my most favorite book of all time I don't know that it reaches quite that level with me I don't quite find it scary at all or haunting even um, and there there were some holes left that didn't quite get filled like the supernatural aspect of it didn't quite get filled <clears throat> at the end but it was still quite a good book so I gave that one four stars the next book I read was Baby Teeth by Zoji Stage this book I heard the hype on the booktube this book will make you not want to be around children at all. <laughs> it will make you fear children. Like that child in that book was totally twisted. But it was a good book, very good book. Highly recommend it if you're into twisted and suspense. I'm not really horror, but twisted for sure. I gave that book five stars. The next book I read was an ebook, and it was Marigolds and Murder by London Lovett. It was okay. It was a short, about 150 some odd pages, short little contemporary. It was one of those that if you want a quick read, that you can guess what happens at the end really fast, then this is the kind of book for you. Not scary at all, not really mysterious at all, just a quick read. Um, it was okay. I gave it three stars. Then I listened to the audiobook of Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle. I found this book fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Um, I don't even have words to describe the, the way that book was written and the subject matter, the finding the pieces, and just unbelievable. Fascinating book. Can't wait to read the next one. I gave this book four stars. Then I listened to the next book, which was Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. This was a reread for me. Um, I read it the first time many years ago. Um, 
Of course, I gave it five stars. Uh, I love how Stephen King can just wrap you in into the horror of it. Just the everyday things. Uh, I mean, you've got the everyday house on the side of the road. Just happens to be a busy road. And... On the everyday, a cat gets hit by a truck. It happens. Then you just happen to have the pet cemetery. And I won't spoil it if you haven't read it. But it's a very good book. Um, I do know that that was the only book that he almost did not publish because he felt that he went too far. Um, but I gave that book five stars. So, those are the books that I've read in the month of February. And if, you ha if you've read any of those books, leave me a comment down below. And let me know what you thought of them. And leave me any suggestions down below, too, of anything that you suggest that I read. Because I'm always looking for good suggestions. So, until next time. Bye.